Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at one of the top of the line front living room floor plans from Heartland. This is a 2021 Heartland Landmark. Model is Lafayette. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the three things we love and the three things we don't love about every single RV that we review. And again, today I'm super excited to be taking a look at the top of the line from Heartland, the landmark. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Pretty good. This, we don't get to uh, review very many like super high end fifth wheel so i'm excited to take a look at this this is like next level yes yes know, so. next level very fancy very nice well yep. let's begin model is landmark lafayette the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 42 feet 10 inches the dry weight is 15,142 pounds and well the hitch weight 3,918 pounds that is heavy you 100% need a dually for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a big old fifth wheel. Right up here, painted fiberglass front cap. Not only that, full body paint on the entire fifth wheel standard from Heartland. I love this. It's really nice and big. You do have a Moride pin box here. Everything you see on this fifth wheel is going to be on the higher end. They don't play games with this unit. Uh, they make it the best of the best. Coming down, see, there you can see your hydraulic fluid and your batteries. It does have six point hydraulic leveling. Look at this, very nice storage that actually goes to that storage over there. And then here, it's gonna be prepped. Prepped for a generator. Very nice. Coming down the side here, we do have our propane tanks here, right? And again, you can see the landing gear for the hydraulic six point leveling. Three year structural warranty from Heartland. And then right here, we do have a little bit of storage. Definitely not great, but you will see later. You have a power outlet right here. And then look at this little awning right there. That's interesting. Yeah. And then I love how they do give you an awning on that slide out right there. Coming down the side, warranty for full-time RVing. And it nice. does have the weather guard package, good for four seasons. And then look at this. These nice steps right here are hydraulic assisted makes it easy to get up and down and it even comes with a free family <laughs> put that right there very nice now because this is a heartland landmark they do use the asdale sidewall composite which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you i love that and you have a really nice grab handle right here making it easy to walk up and down the steps coming down the side we do have a TV on the outside right here. Very nice. Frameless windows throughout the whole fifth wheel. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the saloons. I love those. 215-75R17.5. And you do have your Moride suspension right there. Another power awning. Three awnings on this unit. And then look at this storage. Held up by a magnet. That's awesome. Very nice. Held up by a magnet. Right there's your spare tire, spare tire carrier underneath. And then this, do you think there's a strut on it? Probably. Yep, of course there is. Very nice past your storage right there. Coming around the back, you have a nice fiberglass rear cap. I love the tail light design. Um, you do have a 300 pound hitch, vertical weight. It's not ready for towing. And right up there it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And Will, if somebody wants a Furion camera, what can they do? Go down to the description and find the link down there below. We've partnered with Furion. They're now a sponsor of the show. So what they did is two things. One, 
They're paying us a small commission when you use our link and we appreciate that. But two, they gave us a special promo code that's already activated when you use our link. And what that means is you are buying it cheaper than buying it from a third party website. It's always better to buy directly from Furion than a third party website and it helps promote the show. So if you need the Furion backup cameras, side cameras or anything, use our link down in the description below and we thank you. That's right. <laughs> All right, finishing up. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. you need a key? No. Right here is going to be your 50 amp power cord with a reel. That's I love cool. that. Slam latch doors. Can't believe I didn't mention that. There's a lot going on here. And then look, right there is where you dump your black and gray tanks. Okay. And right here we do have a water heater. And then there's the other place to dump your black and gray things. And I like how, it, what, what a great place from the bed is in. Finishing up. We do have the other side of your storage. Here's your outdoor shower, city water connection, potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then look at that. Down there, that's where you store your spare, uh, that's where you store your sl little stinky slinky. Okay. And then here is your propane, other side. Well, well, the outside of the landmark is fantastic, but it's the inside of that what makes this special. Let's go take a look. Go inside. All right. All right, guys, we'll start up front. Like Matt said, nice front living here. Mid kitchen right here. So we can bring our family with us as well. The bedroom in the back. And the bathroom in the back. Starting up front. Yes, sir, Will. We are starting up front. Look at this. Wow. Very big, very spacious up front. Something that I'm not used to seeing is a table up here. And the table does come up and make That's like cool. a little desk area, okay? We do have the double sofas, your traditional front living floor plan. Here's some of the differences. Right here you get MCD daytime blinds and MCD privacy blinds, okay? All solid woodwork. I love the balances and everything. Both this sofa and that sofa are trifold, so they do come out and make a bed, okay? And then over here... It is the Landmark Collection by Thomas Paine. Very nice. Electric theater seats with cup holders. I absolutely love this. It's so comfortable and nice. And then look at what we're looking at, Will. Is that the biggest TV you've ever seen it in a fifth be. wheel? It's pretty awesome. That is huge. We do have storage all around. And same thing on this side here. Yes, sir. You got the drawer there. Right there. Very nice. A little more storage there. And a little bit more storage there and there. Very nice. The big LG TV. That TV, it almost seems bigger than me. <laughs> um, right there is your sound system. Then it does have a Furion fireplace. Furion. <laughs> and then uh, it's pretty interesting. And something else that I want you to notice is it does have the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system throughout. And I love how they made this white and not black. Right. Because Blinding. it blends in with the roof. Yep. With the ceiling, with the ceiling. On our way down, we do have a dinette right here with two chairs. This motorhome or this fifth wheel is designed to have drinks for six. Six. Entertain four. But I, I forget what I'm trying to say. Listen, only two. This is what it's for, right? Drinks for six, dinner for four. Sleeps. Yeah, but you can't have dinner for four here. Well, it does pop out. Okay. Oh. Somehow. That. There you go. So it does pop out, and there is definitely two um, other chairs down below. But nice dinette. I love this table support here. Makes it very sturdy. And again, we do have some secret storage right there. And I love all the windows around. And I love the light fixture there. That's pretty cool. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this fifth wheel here is 
$148,479 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price because it's a 2021. But Will, I know what we were selling this for at the Tampa show and we can get everybody in America a lot better sale price than that. Tell everybody how to do it. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will be in contact with you to get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That's an email that goes to both me and Will, and we will answer that and get back to you within 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fam question, not a problem. Click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if you click tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab has in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. So start here in the kitchen. Nice kitchen here. I love the, the cabinet work. It's definitely something different. Uh -huh. So all your control panels right there. Another TV. Haven't seen that much. No, Very I haven't either. More storage there. Of course, solid surface countertop here. Uh -huh. Make a nice coffee bar. Or taco bar. Yeah, I think it's big enough for a taco bar. Yeah. Got some drawers here. Oh, uh, extra paint. Yep. To touch up in case anything happens. When you drawers. scratch it. Out of all fifth wheel. Will, what are you doing? <laughs> That's your breaker panel. Yes. A little more storage down there. Very nice. Nice big residential fridge behind me. Well, storage up top first. Lots Man, of storage. Very nice. And then, like I said, nice big residential refrigerator here. Yes, sir. And freezer on the bottom. There you go. Very nice. On this island, it is a nice, pretty good sized island with a nice big single bowl sink and a little spray faucet. Uh-huh. A little bit of storage drawers here all the way down and some storage under the sink as well very nice again solid surface countertops even here they did change the color interesting but it is still also solid surface storage up there and up here yes sir nice microwave here just a regular microwave very big um, nice backsplash here, and it's actually lighted, I think, all the it's way around. Lit. Yes. So, or lit, yeah. A nice Fiorion three burner cooktop and oven as well. A little bit of storage there. Wow, with drawers. drawers. Very nice drawers. Yep. Oops. Oops. And right behind me, I think this is a half bath. Yes, sir. Sure is. Let's see if it passes the toilet test. Okay. Right up here, we do have the vanity. Okay, very, very nice. nice. Nice solid surface in the sink as well. Good, I'm, I'm glad. This is the vanity and that's the medicine cabinet. That's yeah. what I meant to say. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Better be porcelain at this price. Yeah, 100% porcelain. porcelain. It's a little tight in here, but it is a half bath. And well, I'm doing it, we're making it. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. Very nice. Oh, right. Look how talented you are, Will. <laughs> you guys missed that. He put it in with his... And then over here in the bedroom area. Nice door here. Nice door to the bedroom. Okay, right here in this closet area. We have a safe up there. It's prepped for a stackable or side-by-side -side washer dryer. And that's where your other fold-up chairs are right there. Yeah. Nice mirror right here. Look at how big this is. This that's is nice. huge. This is very big, very big, very big and very big, yes. <laughs> you have your TV up here and a little bit more storage there. And then right here, the bed is actually tilted up. Huh. Do you see the switch? I don't. Probably this one. There we go. We're going to see what it's like down. It doesn't look good. It doesn't. Let's show this. Okay, while he's doing that, a little more closet space here, drawer right there, and down there. I do like the fixture right here as well. Yep. Now, do we touch we touch on the AC? Is it two or three ACs? Do you know? Uh, I do not know. I would almost safely assume it has to be three. Yeah. 
man. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. We'll talk about that soon. But that's the bed all the way down. Very nice king size bed and everything. And wow! Look at this bathroom, Will. Look at this. We got plenty of storage in here. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Really nice right there. Nice. Look at this. I love how that's carved in there. Yeah, that is cool. Storage underneath there. Okay. A couple drawers. A couple of drawers. And then, well, look at that shower. Think that passes the tall test? Oh, yeah. Oh, it sure does. Very nice. Bing. Very nice. So, yep, nice, yep, nice shower here. Big and wide and... And nice and tall, and it even comes with a seat. Teak seat. Teak I love seat. that. Yep. And then, wait, it was now time for the toilet test part two. Okay. Porcelain, prime, pooping, position. Bing! Very nice. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the Landmark Lafayette. Now, before we leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Well, what do we do foist? Three things we dislike? Uh, yeah. Okay, first it's gonna be this bed. Okay. What the heck's going on? Like, the bed needs to be down and then this is your yeah, walkway. Yeah, it's actually very tight. It's tighter than it even looks on camera, I think. I don't even get it. Like, why would they do that? Like, is the slide out even all the way out? Yeah, it is so weird, and I don't no, get that. No, the slide out does slide out another couple of okay. inches. But still, it's very weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, but not much. So that's one, and I have a number two. Knowing this, right, I thought it was actually a little tight in here even when the bed was up some, and I was like, why is this so big and right. so deep? It's taking it away. So that's what the issue is. This is so deep, it's taking off your walking space. Right, and there's no need for that. Yeah, you're right. And I think that's very, very silly. So that's going to be my two. Okay. Do you have a number three? Um, yeah. Talk to me. Okay. Or did we just talk about the whole bed? Oh, did you hurt yourself? Yeah. I love it. It is tight. <laughs> I love I love when Will hurts himself. Okay, I said it before, but I do not like this bathroom here right off the uh, the kitchen. Okay. So again, somebody takes a big old dookie. Big dookie, old dookie. And, uh, you know, you're cooking in here. It's not going to smell like tacos anymore. Right, especially this unit. I mean, it is designed for a couple, right? It's right. not like it's, you know, going to be it's sleeping like a lot a of people. It's not like a bunkhouse or something. Right, right. Okay, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about okay. this fifth wheel. You ready? Yep, you going first? Yes, sir. I love this front living room area. I love how big this TV is. Now, if Will didn't have a third dislike, I would have said that I wish there was a nice big windshield here. Yeah. But with how big this TV, this entertainment center, I do think this is really cool and nice. And I even like how it comes with the table that converts into a desk area. Yep. So that's one. Two. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Really? All right. Well, let's do this then. Let me give you number two. Okay. I do love this kitchen area. Um... I, I normally don't like the two-tone colors in here, but I think it looks nice. I think that backsplash looks nice, and I think it's smart to put a TV right that here. That actually is smart. Uh, because you, because with the separation of the living room and the kitchen, yep. somebody can watch a TV right there. So I think yep. that's pretty cool. So that's two, so, and then three. I'm gonna say, it's kind of a, kind of a combo, but I like the storage that they put in. Now, I will say I wish that they made it a little bit smaller and gave it a little more toilet space. But I do like how, you know, a lot of times you don't get any storage in, in a uh, bathroom. Yep. But I like they made tons of room for that. I like the sink, and of course, I like the nice big shower. Let's take one more look at that sink. That's okay. a lot of attention to detail there. Yep. And I think it looks fantastic. Sure does. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Let's get the heck out of this tight bedroom. Okay. All right. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. 
or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. Please select the right contact me tab because if you click the first one, they're going to hound you to buy something. So if you just have questions, click that second tab and Will and I will get back to you ASAP. Well, in a few seconds, people are going to see videos right here of other high-end luxury fifth wheels that we think you guys should check out. Do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is a great option for you know a couple going full time, want something really homey feeling. So, um, like Matt said, check out the competition if you are in that market. Make sure to leave in the comments below three things you like and three things you dislike. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely again so much for watching, Will. We'll see you next time.